You doing, man? All right. Yeah, I just want to know, you know, what's going on, man? What's the purpose of this protest out here today? Well, the purpose of the protest today um, is that we are standing against the assault that has been taking place inside Paul's Market on 1800 Jefferson Street. Yeah. Our women and our elderly have been disrespected and assaulted inside this very store here. Now we done talked to them numerous of times and on numerous occasions about the disrespect and assault that had taken place at this, at this uh, place of business. Now we spent our, our money here as black people. We're not gonna pay them to assault us and disrespect us. We're not gonna do that, not gonna tolerate that. So today is a day of the first phase. This is phase one. It's to address and educate, because a lot of people still don't know what goes on here. Well, my question to you as a writer for the newspaper. Okay, but he, he, hold up, hold up. So, so, you know, where do we go further after this? You know, what's what's the next phase? After? Well, the next phase is to make sure we get an alternate. So we got to have an alternate place for people to come here, maybe buy this store over here, or maybe put a store across the street, or maybe buy them out. You know what I'm saying? That way we know that the assaults and the disrespect won't take place. Now, we can't say that it's going to be perfect. You know, people might have differences, you know, in any place of business. But we know one thing's not going to happen. They're not going to be putting out no guns and assaulting people in a place of business that has a bulletproof window. You don't even have to come behind the counter. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So when they do this and get away with it, they're saying, okay, we're going to pay you to disrespect us and assault us. Our sisters <laughs> come here from across the street from fist. One young lady was approached and asked, can we help you? And the clerk said, well, come over here. I can assist you and pulled down his pants. Whoa. This, this sister's at fist. This sister's at fist trying to get an education. Well, my question to you is, do you oh, think oh, oh, this oh, oh, is oh. happening at several <laughs> uh, locations in the city? So keep going. Keep going with that. Okay. Yeah. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This the thing. This the thing. Keep on. Keep on. Sis. Keep on. We're going to be professional about what we're trying to do here. I don't care about no newspaper. I don't care about none of this, but what's going on here. Right, right, right. And what's right is this. You got people out here. You got people out here saying they assaulted me. They disrespected me. They pulled out a gun and beat me in my head. I got knots on my head. I got to go to the hospital. And then he turned around and said, well, they're lying. We go get the news, the camera, to get the videotape from the camera. But the videotape from the camera is no longer there. So what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? Right, we right, shut them right. down. Yeah, yeah. And if you're a black person, if you're a minority in this community, you believe that it's okay for somebody in a business to come pull a gun out of you while you're spending your money there, regardless, I don't care if it's 50 cent. It shouldn't happen. It's not just, and it's not okay. You understand that? Yeah. We need to teach this to our kids. You see this young man right here? He see this. And in his mind, his memory, it's like a computer. It's molding. He gonna, when he get old, he going to know how to protest. He going to know how to stand up for what he believe in. See, we've been brainwashed for too long. So now it's time to deprogram. I'm also an author. I write novels. I got a book coming out called Breeding a New Black. We have to breed a new black. Like shoelace, you know, you tie them up. You got to untie a shoelace. You can't just jump to it and it's untied. So that's what we got to do with this program. We got to deprogram each other. To let everyone know, hey man, we're not going to tolerate this. We're going to shut the business down. And that's what we're here for. And the purpose is to also bring about change. We're going to either relocate the business or we're going to find an alternate way to have better service here. And that's what we're doing here. Thank you, brother. Thank and you, also thank go to hold on, you still on, right? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I'm with Bulletproof Inc. You go to the website, it's Bulletproof Inc. Nonprofit Organization, Youth Gun Violence Prevention. 